Morning, North Carolina Pepper. Um, got a problem with the ABS and the brake light on my truck coming on. Um, it's an intermittent problem. As you can see right now, it's not it's not uh, doing it at all. So I believe because it's a rainy day outside, I believe that it's um, a grounding issue in the front. There is a connector ground in front of the. Uh, <laughs> Or on the side of the radio up front, and usually when it's wet, it works fine, or the light doesn't come on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the air box today and take a look at that ground. If not, I'm gonna pull the electronic control module apart and see what needs to be fixed inside there. I believe there's a broken relay in the ECM, and um, I'm not gonna pay fifteen hundred dollars for a for a broken ECM. So, I'll just fix it myself. Probably cost me a dollar or two, but it comes down to, you know, time, so. Let, let's see, um, I'll, I'll film this again later when it comes back on. Um, it'll come on after a while, I'm sure, when I hit a bump or something, so. I'll be back. Okay, um, now it's on, as you can see. It's, you know, miles later, but as you can see, it's on, so, um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead, um, uh, probably at lunch or after work today and pull the uh, the grounding wire off behind the radiator grill and clean that up and see how corroded that is and try that if that doesn't work uh, we'll have to take and um, and um, pull the uh, ECM off and rebuild it but since I'm driving now let me let me get back to driving okay so here's the deal I went ahead down to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and had him do a code on it while it was lit up. And it's a CO256. That tells me it's an internal relay, basically, or a problem with the motor. Which is what I suspected before, which is caused by these uh, the bad grounding things. Now, if you look at this picture here, <clears throat> I forgot to film when I was doing this. I just got into work and started working. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll mark this picture up down there where the bolt comes in on the radiator. But if you look at it, this wire here, mark number two, uh, is the, the wire coming off the ECM module. And uh, model down there in the bottom by the radiator, where the, where the mark one is, or the number one, that's actually where the bolt was all rusted. Now here's a, here's a close-up of the bolt uh, attached down there. It's just a couple inches off the bottom. But if you look at that, you can see it's very highly corroded. So I went ahead and did that, and I went ahead and worked on it. So let's let's go ahead and get back to the the after effect on how I hooked it all back up, or I just put it all back together, and I put some liquid tape over to seal it up so it doesn't get doesn't get uh, messed up again, and I wire brush clean the whole area, and here's the result of that. All right. Uh... We're out driving. Hold on. There we go. And um, we have 10 miles an hour. And there you go, no light. It was just a corroded screw, so we do not have to pull apart the ECM, at least at this time. So that's what you got to check if you have intermittent lights coming on. All right, North Carolina Prepper, please rate and subscribe. Thanks.